you have been very busy, right? I know. This is the busiest time of the year. Christmas is coming and at the end of the year parties and a new year is coming soon too. So you have so many things going on and the lesson is filing up and new lesson is coming up and up. And if you cannot catch up, you will feel sorry and you will give up later on. So I will hold up the lesson until the next year and during Christmas season, we're going to learn five special Christmas music. There are so many good Christmas songs, but I will choose only five songs, which may be right for our level. And we're going to learn the Christmas songs from now. So don't worry about your lesson. Just have fun with this Christmas music. You don't have to play at all five songs. If you can, yeah, that's best. But otherwise, if you are too busy, then just pick one song and play it. So our first lesson for Christmas music is Jingle Bell. You already may know. This is very popular and very famous songs. And also it's very light music. With this song, we're going to learn two techniques. Left hand, going down and up and down and up, exercise, and right hand shifting up, fingerings. Okay, now let's see how it goes. Now, if you're looking at the score, you can see it A and B and A again. I divide into part so that you can practice better and then you know what's going on. Now, part A is the part that we may know. A very famous one. And part B is actual song is coming. And then part A is coming again, which is literally exactly the same as the beginning. So if you can play at part A and B, the later the end part is the same. So even if the piece looks so long, it's quite simple. Now, if you're looking at the left hand first, this is literally repeating the same patterns. Starting from the middle C and going down, 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 C, down, down, down. Yes. That's all you have. After that, the next pattern is the chord. sharp so when you play it after C and G just go inside of the key instead of playing out and goes to G and B again that's all you have so what you need to do is just first practice left hand riding on the sleigh and the sleigh is keep moving and the bell is ringing and this is the bell sound and the left hand is expressing of the sleigh is moving see it so just practice left hand first when you can play well this part then edit the right hand now let's see the right hand what is the right hand first to know Yes, E. And of course, you know the melody lines, right? And then skip up, C, D, E. And there's so many repeated notes. So what you need to do is just check each note and then you have to count well so that you don't play more notes than you're supposed to play or you play less than you're supposed to play. Okay, now let's see how it goes only the part A first. Put both hands together. Start with the left hand C and right hand on E. Ready? One, two, three, go. Bob and left hand F and A. 
comes back again. So our problem part is maybe the second line, the second measure. measure the same thing comes back again That means you only play the note loud, not any other things. So just like porking it. Got it? Now, this time, we're going to play it whole entire song in slow tempo. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three, go.
from C to going to C. Right hand treble C and left hand bass C is all the different from the part A to the last part A. So as you see it, it's very straightforward. Maybe you need some time to speed up. But if you practice slow, then it should be easy. So start practicing slow. Just practice both hands together. And matching right hand and left hand together. That's more important than playing it fast. And also this is good exercise to practice left hand. Because just going from C to G is good technique exercise too. So practice this left hand by yourself and then put both hands together. And I hope you enjoyed this Christmas song. And also, to make it easy, I brought it finger numbers too. I normally don't do it. But this time, to make it easy, I just wrote the finger number. So you can print it out, both music. If you can play it without the finger number, then do that one. That's much better for your exercise. But since we don't have much time left, you can just start working with the finger numbers. And when you can play it well, then maybe you can just use the score without a finger number. So I hope you have a wonderful time with the song. And I will see you next time with Deck the Halls. Bye.